Let's start by adding a cube. Go into edit mode. Move it up. Then scale. Let's move these top four vertices up. Select these two edges. Right click and select subdivide. Let's move the middle edge up. Press Ctrl B to bevel. Then extrude in the Z axis. Let's select these three faces. Shift D to duplicate, P to separate. Select the duplicated object. Select all in edit mode, then press Alt E to extrude along normals. Press S for even thickness. Let's select the bottom two faces and move them down. Select the roof object. Into edit mode, duplicate the face and separate. Press Ctrl R for six loop cuts. Let's delete all faces except the first one. Press 1 for vertex mode. Select the bottom vertices and extrude in the z-axis. Let's move them to the right in the x-axis. Press Ctrl B, then V for vertex bevel. You can scroll your mouse wheel for more segments. I'm going to merge the middle two vertices. Let's add an array modifier. Enter 0 for X offset, and 1 for Y offset, and 7 counts. Add a solidify modifier and adjust thickness. Right click to shade smooth, and turn on auto smooth. Now add a mirror modifier for the left side. Let's add a door and a window next. Shift D to duplicate the face, then P to separate. Then scale and move vertices to shape the door. Now duplicate the door to make the window. Move the bottom vertices up and scale. Let's add a loop cut for the sill. Press P to separate the sill part and extrude in edit mode. We'll do the same for the door step. Now duplicate the door and the window into edit mode while both are selected, then extrude along x-axis. Let's move these objects inward. Shift select the house, then press Ctrl and numpad minus for bull cuts. I'll hide the cutters by pressing H. Now duplicate the door and the window again to create frames, let's start with the door. Inset in edit mode. Add a loop cut then bevel the edge. Select the inside faces and delete. Let's do the same for the window.
select both frames and extrude inward in edit mode. Now select the original door and window planes and move them inward as well. Let's create the store sign by duplicating the top face. Scale and rotate. Then hold Ctrl to snap. Move the top vertices up. Add a solidify modifier. Press Shift A to add a text. Rotate and move it up. Go into edit mode and change the text to store. Increase extrude amount under text data properties. Let's scale and position the text. I'm increasing the character spacing. Refine the position. Shift right click to move the cursor. Shift A to add a plane. Rotate and scale. Let's extrude it twice. Select the top and the bottom faces, Alt-E to extrude along normals. Select the side face loop and the top faces to scale. Now that wasn't too hard to make, was it? Hope you enjoyed making this low poly store. Please subscribe to support my channel. Thank you.